That's weird, because the sound is in front of me, but I can only hear it through the door behind me. Today we got only one mission, and that is finishing the vocal booth, finishing isolating it. We installed one window into the wall, a second window here into this frame to be able to look through between vocal booth and control room, filling everything out with the absorbing material and closing the wall, hopefully all done within this day. And later on we will do a test how much this actually helps to isolate the room. So if you're interested in soundproofing a room, there's actually just one way doing it and that is bringing a whole lot of material between the walls. The more you have in there, the more it will isolate. This right here is for vocal booth normal, maybe for you at home, total overkill, just one or two or three layers might be enough. But I'm actually looking forward to test this extreme version of isolating. This already helps, but if it's filled out later on today, it will be hopefully as perfect as possible. Now, just um, leaving really quick, getting more of the isolating material, it's all still in my old studio. And back in the old studio, feels really nostalgic. I almost forgot how it looked like, like two months ago. First time in the new, in the old studio. Way smaller. Yeah, way, way, smaller. way, way, way <laughs> smaller. And I still have to get rid of those um, radio show flyers. And all of the absorbing material. That's again the back wall, it's really, really deep, like half a meter ceiling as well so yeah let's try to get all of this out of here yep ah, that stuff is nasty it is it is yeah. so nasty be careful it's a little toxic not as toxic as like 10 20 years ago but it itches yeah it is yeah yeah but mask and gloves wouldn't really help it's just too much of that stuff so but we are halfway done, so... Yeah, halfway done. One more round of my dad's big car full. It's probably the most toxic car in the city at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, let's just hit it. How far are you? Like 70%. 70, okay. Yeah. Like in the meantime, we were carrying the absorbing stuff. Leonard finished the frame for the inside between those two windows. Looks extremely good. Like just some silicone and it's tight and then painting it black or white. I don't know. First white, then black. <laughs> Maybe. We have to see um, what makes sure that it reflects less. And you were lucky you had to deal with this kind of stuff. You want to see how much of that is downstairs? Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> That's crazy, or? That was all in the old studio. Yes, this was all in the old studio. Are you kidding me? That's bigger than the entire studio. Yes. <laughs> now comes my favorite part again, touching the absorbing material and squeezing it in there. It's time for the ultimate test. This is t-shirt number three. Thanks a lot to Max for carrying all of the stuff. Thanks for Leonard for doing everything else, basically. Now, loud music. Loud, loud music. With loud music. Bass. And then again, the test. The okay, music on. Loud. Door number one. Closed. Door number two, closed. Good, or? It's just out of the door, so yeah. yes. just nothing from yeah. here. From this wall, no sound. Completely dry. Good work. Yeah, really good work. Just and, needs and to be you, covered. And really close to the, yes. to the... But it's usually just to keep the vocal, the singer, out of the, the other room and the bleed. That's good. That's enough for a vocal booth. But can you imagine you want to make it 100% tight? You need like at least half a meter or even more. And a third window. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe one day. Yeah. That's already... It's doing a lot. Yeah, a lot. But it's still like most of the stuff from the store. So we need to, to cover the door, Leonard. 
Any idea? Second door in? Or just some <laughs> I'm out. acoustic okay. foam on top? I ordered already acoustic foam. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. No more fucking... <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. You know, downstairs, there's still oh, a no, lot more. Yeah. This, this all will go yeah. into the other studio rooms. It sucks. Yeah. That itchy stuff, it sucks. So now back again to the main studio. And the rest of the absorbing material will go here behind the couch. Front corners <coughs> with uh, base traps. And that's then maybe a bit... Uh, you know, we still have to seal the what? drywall. Which one? Uh, okay, more testing. Because I always said I wanted to be so sealed, so isolated that you could kill someone in there and not notice. So Leonard is not going to scream a lot of... I can still hear you. We have to <laughs> we have to build more. More work for you, Leonard. No. Well, it's fun if, if he's talking, you can't really hear it. Screaming, yes. So uh, maybe let's do one scientific test uh, measuring the decibels. We got here if I do not talk. Around 35, 40, and my talking is around 70. The music. So yeah, basically we get from around 100 to 60, which is 40 dBs. As you know, every 10 dB cuts the volume by half. It's dBs are a weird system. If you really want to know everything about it, check out Wikipedia. This video ain't long enough to explain all of it, but all in all, I'm happy. I'm happy with this vocal booth, and I think we can get 10% more out of it because this right here isn't covered. This is just drywall, two sheets of drywall, so there will be absorbing material and then again drywall and yeah then just covering it with fabric and we got studio b all done i'm so extremely happy about the vocal booth now this place feels like a proper studio and if there's one thing we learned today is that it needs a whole lot of absorption a whole lot of room and space to get some isolation done it's really, really hard to make sure that a room doesn't let in any sound or out. So if you're thinking about isolating your room, I mean, if it's just for at home and normal use, maybe like 10 to 15 centimeters might be enough. But for a studio and to keep like drums out of the control room, you have to go pretty, pretty thick to get actually anything done. So think twice before trying to isolate in, in any way. But this right here is cool. Probably soon this will be available to everyone if you're interested. Mm -hmm.